Great! Always do it on my own, so I gotta get through it. And the only thing I know is to love what I'm doing. How's it going everyone? I am the Dungeon Meister and welcome back to the table. And we are back on Double Exposure today where we are continuing where we left off in episode 3. And there seems like there's a handful of people so, for us to interact with around here, so let's go get right into it. All dressed up for Krampus. I was so excited to go. I doubt I will. She's always so... Unfazed. How? How? Hey, sport. Working hard or hardly working? Sport? You cosplaying as a boomer dad today? Hey, you said it first. I doubt it. The old sport is more my style huh? anyway. It's finals week, isn't it? Everyone that's come in here lately has that same frazzled look. Did she literally just say it to a us drink like to ease your troubles. an hour ago? Shot, please. Are we wanting a gasoline on fire flavor experience? Or a sickly sweet rated grandma's liquor cabinet kind of taste? Uh, make it burn. Make it burn. Let's do the gasoline. I want to burn my throat off. Jenny Mezcal? All of the smoke, none of the dip. Taste buds are overrated. Ooh. That's the good stuff. How are we feeling now? <sighs> Wake. Like I keep thinking I've hit rock bottom, but then I realize I'm still falling. <sighs> you are such a disaster. Yeah. God, I certainly have a type. You need more than a drink. Let's hang. Sure. Don't you have a bar to tend? We don't need to leave the turtle to have fun. Fair. Remember how we said we were gonna hang anyway? I am collecting on that debt now. What are we gonna do? Kidnap the members of Revenge Horse and force them to play here? As a good idea. Revenge Horse only plays house shows. We might not be able to go to a show for real, but. We can always pretend. Got the earbuds? I guess. Bitch, shut your dumb eyes. <laughs> shut your dumb eyes. <laughs> Hell yeah. We pull up to my buddy Eddie's house. We call it the rat hole. Best house shows in Lakeport. Revenge Horse goes on at 11, but at the rat hole, that means midnight. The place is packed. We can smell Granite Joe smoking a blunt out back. And Eddie waves to us from a table full of scary merch. Hold up. Why is the merch scary? We approach the merch table. It's covered in stickers and pins, and they're all of this horse that looks like it was, quite frankly, drawn by a toddler, and yet it's powerful. No matter where you stand, it stares into your soul. Sick as hell. I buy a sticker. You now have one sticker. Huzzah. Hey, do I hear the band doing a sound check downstairs? Ahead of schedule? Let's check it out. <laughs> Careful, the stairs are steep. <laughs> this is awkward, and I love it. Revenge Horse <laughs> opens with my favorite song. Fuck, Mary kill. I ain't trying to mess with ya. I'll be real, I swear I can't 
and a mosh pit opens in the smoky dark in front of the stage. Oh, we thrash. Let's thrash, Chakabra. Chakabra? Okay. Let's pretend you said something normal, but basically that. We throw ourselves into the crowd. Chakabra. <laughs> There are people around. You couldn't catch me dead doing this. This is the most. No. <laughs> I'm having secondhand embarrassment. To be fair, I probably immediately get a black eye. Oh, then I fight us away back to the bar and get you an ice pack. <sighs> I only need one eye to see the show anyway. Just make, make it stop. Hey, the singer. Is she a stage diver? I mean, in so much as you can call a thrifted area rug a stage. Please stop. Sure. Next bit. I don't like this bit anymore. She sets her guitar down and takes a running leap towards the crowd. <laughs> uh, uh, I'll catch her. I run over to the spot where she would land. Wait, don't you have an ice pack in one hand? Oh. Oops. Yes, I do. <laughs> <sighs> Shit. I hope you're prepared for what happens next. Don't tell me that the singer, that she... Stone cold dead on the floor. But don't worry, this is how she would have wanted to go out. Before we leave, we each receive an invitation to her Viking funeral. That was the wildest show I have ever seen. <laughs> or like, talked about. Told you it'd be worth it. And you're walking away with, let's see, one terrifying horse sticker, some bruises from moshing, and an invitation to a Viking funeral. Yeah, that sounds pretty rad. <laughs> If that was just a dry run, imagine what the real revenge horse show is going to be like. It's been a buck wild day. Buck wild. But that made me feel like, I don't know, maybe tomorrow my existence will be things worse for everyone around me. You keep saying that about your day. What happened? Why are you so nice to me? Shit. <laughs> I'm doing it again. My therapist says I latch onto people too quickly. But what am I supposed to do when I gel with someone? Act like a bitch? That would be hot! <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. Bitchy women are a huge turn on, so. Excuse me, ma'am. Uh, what are these mixed signals? Are you flirting with me? I'm sorry. I'm very stressed and just really hot and care about me and you have really nice hands. That is the gayest <laughs> shit I've ever heard in my life. Big fact. Look, what can I say? I have a thing for emotionally unavailable women. You're not saying I am. You're literally in my bar talking about yourself like you're a category five hurricane. Well, I mean, little do you know. 
I have personal experience with Category 5 hurricanes. Sorry, did I do something wrong? No, no. I really, really want to kiss you. Um, kiss me then. It's just that I, like I said, I tend to go for women who don't feel the same way about me. And I need to know I'm not just projecting. Hey. So, you kiss me first. This is how it should have. They should have never had that shit in the beginning of the game. Like, thinking you're into her or not shouldn't have even been an option. You should have just started off, like, talking like you want to be her friend and then eventually maybe built up to this. That would have been a lot better of an approach than just, like, throw yourself out there. And I'm glad it did come back. You know, here, probably halfway through episode three. I am glad that this option did come back and that she wasn't completely shut out forever. But I really don't think having all the flirty stuff was necessary in the first hour of the game before you know anyone. Like, it, it should just have natural progression. Like, as the game has gone on, you have gotten to see more of Amanda. And, you know, she does seem like a pretty cool lady. And uh, at this point, I'm like, yeah, I, I'm down with Amanda. I like Amanda. I like her more than Vin, anyway. Um, so, like, I would probably choose Amanda. I just wish, like, it just should have always been here instead of also at the beginning. But whatever. I'm a freak. I'm Get a freaky. I'm a for a good dare. Oh, my goodness. Maxine Caulfield. Stop but it. I'm also very polite. So, you Ooh. first. Ooh. Are you trying to break me? Honestly, what is that voice? Oh my goodness. Got me feeling some Max kind of way. Caulfield, you are the worst. But also, like, incredibly attractive, right? Fuck. Hell yeah, brother. Damn, they're really going for it. <sighs> Hell yeah. When do you get off? About an hour. Uh, but before we do anything else, Maybe we should sleep on it. In my bed. <laughs> Max! Holy shit! As much as I like that. Um, what? Where? I'd like to be able to Where did this side come from? I made good Holy choices. shit, she's a freak! You are a very smart woman. Goddamn. <laughs> to be continued. Okay. Uh, for now. I I have to get back to it. Um. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, we should have a sit after that one. Are you the one who's unlucky? Or is it just everyone who ever meets you? You stay the fuck away from me. I think you should leave me alone for a while. Maybe a long while. Which world am I in? What Lucas did to Maya was deplorable. I can only imagine how painful that was for Safi. And I poked at that pain like a kid with a stick. Hmm. Maybe I should have told her the truth. I think I'd kill you. Sorry, I'm trying to fix it. 
Oh, fuck. I thought things would be different here. I hope Sophie doesn't hate me for too long. I'm in the living world, aren't I? Oh no, that means a man. Oh, that means like in the dead timeline, a man is not gonna know. Oh no. You know, I'll admit, I don't really see too many live performances. And we're going to correct that immediately. If you want to get to know me, music is a surefire way to do that. Oh, well, in that case, I'll bring a notebook. Take notes. Excellent. Write this down. Uh, does comedy, enjoys live music, super cute. That last one's important. I feel like you've done this before. What's in the Max journal? Hot's definitely there. And mysterious. Hoping you can help me fill it out a little more. Man, now I'm kind of sad. I'm gonna go sure. back to Dead World. Alternate Max and Amanda got to see a real band, but did they get to attend a Viking funeral for Grease Trap? I think not. I'm gonna go back to the like Dead World and be like, "Hey, oh, hey, baby!" And she's gonna be like, "Get the fuck away from me, you creep!" Just pretend like I'm not even here. Good business tonight, or the dishwasher is broken. Can I do? I still have the. You the can't key. be a bard. Why not? Because we already have a bard. Last time we had two bards, we got totally smoked, dead in two sessions. That doesn't make any sense. Why don't you just make the campaign easier if, if people want to be bards? Make the campaign easier? Yeah. The game should suit the players, right? Greg, I told you you could bring your girlfriend as long as she wasn't a Sorry. Hey, she's got a point. Hmm. Must be game night. There's no reason why two people can't play cards. Why are you apologizing to him? I'm right. Yeah, but it's his game, so... But it's supposed to be fun, right? It is, usually. You just leave. Okay, I'll come with you. Wait, how are we supposed to play without our rope? I be a bird. Yes. Uh, I'm. Uh, I'm glad she gets to play it. I'm. So, I'm like, true colors. You could like interject your thoughts into these kind of conversations. I wish Max would do kind that Kind of as in well. the mood for some of Vin's humor right now. What? Is it called the Enchanted Forest? Or is it just a forest that happens to be enchanted? I don't know. That's just what it says in the book. Right. But it's your game. Shouldn't you know? Oh my god. <laughs> Can we just play... Yeah, I wish Max could like be like, uh, like you know, side with the guy. Like, well, you know, it is his game, and you know, it you should do what's best for the group, uh, so that everybody can have fun. Or you could side with the girl and be like, it is just a game. Like, if two people want to play bards, then two people can play bards. Just make the game a little easier, and it's fine. Of kind of in the mood for some of Vin's humor right now. Yeah. I'm not. Is Vin here? Am I missing something? I know Gwen's here. 
I don't, Finn isn't here, I don't think. Okay, he's not outside. Oh, there he is. He's getting sloshed in the dead world. Good too, buddy. Uh, I'll talk to them last. Let's talk to Glenn. Hey, Glenn. We just keep meeting like this. Guess we've both had bad days. <laughs> You have a disciplinary hearing tomorrow, too? I did get into it with Yasmin. She lied to my face. Oh, to your face? She must really like you. <laughs> you want my input? Cut and run. Caledon is shiny, but trust me. To me, Safi, tell me what's happening. Oh shoot, I didn't talk to... I didn't talk to Reggie and Diamond. Hey Max. Oh fuck. That's about the level of greeting I'm expecting at this point. Thank you. You okay? Everything's fine. She fell in love with the wrong person. Reggie, what happened to the bro code? Max is a bro. Max is a bro. That's the, I agree with him for once. You ever have a thing for the wrong person? Ha! <laughs> show me someone who hasn't and I'll show you a liar. Or however that saying goes. <laughs> That's deep, Max. Shut up, Reggie. I didn't think I wanted anybody before. Reggie says I should move on, and he's right. I just... I haven't felt this way about anyone, ever. I don't know if I will again. I, I would like to encourage her, but I don't want to be super creepy. Give, Give yourself some time. Life has a way of surprising us. Really hope you're right. I wish Safi gave me a moment to explain. What the fuck happened to Courtney? Did she? Oh, she died in the. She must have died in the storm. And yeah, checks out.
Okay, so this wait. I thought Tony was a girl. So is Mo is Moses gay? Or is he bi? Because if he's gay, then I don't want Diamond to keep her hopes up, you know? But if he's bi, there's a chance. But, like, if he's gay, like, like just, just tell her, like, girl, sorry. You can, like, keep dreaming, but, you know, you just gotta let it go. I thought, I could have sworn my interpretation from earlier messages made it seem like Tony was a girl. But, I uh, guess not. So, well, that's awkward. What's up, Reggie? Hey, Reggie. Feeling okay? <laughs> Talk to uh. him like he's a little dog. Hey, I don't feel like I'm about to fall off the face of the earth. So, Reggie. I know I'm not doing good, Max. I wasn't doing good before I saw me. Now I'm worse. I think something like that would rattle anyone. That's not the only thing, though. When I was a freshman, I thought moving here, across the country, would fix everything that was broken inside of me. Everyone here just thinks I'm a fuck up. And maybe, maybe they're right. Good photographer. He doesn't. I can't tell. He doesn't seem like the the type that would want to be consoled. I feel like he wants to be included, right? Like I'm sure he's heard plenty of times people say he's not a fuck up, but that could just incite anger. You know, whatever is latching onto you, like comes out in even stronger, like. Whereas, like, everyone's a fuck-up. Like, it's like... There's an opportunity to share stories, right? Like, I don't want him to think he's a fuck-up. But, at the same time, I don't want him to think he's alone. So I'm gonna go with, I'm gonna go with this one. Thing is... Everyone's a fuck-up. We're gonna be inclusive. <laughs> Every last one of us. Even you. <laughs> Especially. Reggie, I'm the biggest fuck-up I know. Well, if the great Max Caulfield is a fuck up, I guess there are worse things to be. Reggie, I know Thanks, five Max. fucked up people, and I'm four of them. Anytime. So. I hope that helped. That was, that was kind of the ballpark I was swinging for, though. So. so? Are you going to take the Visionary Ventures gig? I'm supposed to give them an answer by tomorrow. And... And? And? Come on, sister, let's hear it! Damn, that's what I really need to cap off my night. Falling on my ass. I don't really want to talk to these guys. I hate listening to their conversations. Was it real? I walk into my lab. Puck, yes. That's how hey. Sophie felt about her poetry. Hey, yourself. She's never gonna get the chance to how write are we poetry feeling? again. Oh, Shit. you know. When you put it like that, I'm upright. Not to give you an existential crisis. Take it crisis, easy, okay? But none of us know how long we have. I could die in a freak telescope accident tomorrow. Come here often? <laughs> Probably too often. Join me.
Help yourself. <laughs> One step ahead of you, brother. Yeah, I'm going for a... Going for a shot, I guess. Or a sip. <laughs> Strong sip. Rough day. Everybody hates me. I'm annoying. I'm bothering to everyone. My colleagues, Moses, Tafi. Tafi used to get pissed at me too. Are you crazy? Safi was obsessed with you. She would talk about you all the time. I was always jealous. I mean, um... Don't hurt yourself. I know about you and Safi. Oh. Well... I should have told you. There's been a lot going on, and it's not like we're besties or anything. I wasn't her boyfriend or anything, and it ended a while ago, but I guess I had this idea that we'd make up eventually. Any other deep, dark secrets you've disinterred from my past? <laughs> well, why don't you spring that out? know what happened to Maya. <laughs> Christ, Max! I was joking! <laughs> and I know what you did after she died. <clears throat> I was young, I was an asshole, and I... I didn't want to end up working at my parents' liquor store until I shriveled up and died. Does the past version of you ever feel like... I don't know... an alien? Like... The shit that person cared about is so worthless. You can't even remember being them? Yeah, brother, it's called growing up. Maturing. I'm not here to make him feel bad about himself. That sounds like a shitty spot to be in. Especially right out of undergrad. Right? Here I was with the chance to be uh, salaried, health insured, even fucking 401k'd. And all I had to do was talk shit. Which I'm good at. Sorry to bring down the vibes. <laughs> I need to be more drunk. See, you made yourself right at home. I blame Vin. <laughs> oh, you hitting that? Brother, bro, what? We're just friends. All right, all right. Are we? She's cute, but a, a little too principled for me, even discounting her utter lack of interest in my gender. Hey, principles can be hot. Uh -huh. I'm serious. I will write you an essay. Passion is very sexy. No, no, you're right. Passion is sexy. Like your buddy, the big guy with the telescopes. Moses? Once, I asked him how his day was going, and he explained to me the double slit experiment. <laughs> Jesus it was Christ! Weirdly hot. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! What? You're saying you wouldn't? He's my friend. And this would be extremely friendly. Moses, smash or pass? I don't know! Like, I, is he gay or is he bi? <laughs> like, same situation with fucking Diamond. Like, I don't know. 
I don't want to be disrespectful. And I like Moses. I like Moses, but... Moses isn't the type of person that reflects the smash or pass question, right? Like, Moses is the type where you're like, I'm, I'm committed to Moses, and I'm taking him home. Well, in theory, right, how it works is like, I'm taking him home to mom and dad. They're going to meet the, he's going to meet the whole family. We're going to plan our future together and work together forever. You know, that's what Moses is. Moses is more than just a one-night stand. And that's why I feel like this question is implied, right? Like, would you smash Moses? Like, hell yeah, for life, you know? We're, we're better than just a one-night stand. However, this Max has already committed to Amanda. So, I am sorry, Moses. Quit looking at me like that. Look at his eyes. You see him doing his eyebrow thing and he scrunches his lips. He's like, mm-hmm. Like, no, nah, no. Nah. Um, no, 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 no. He's a friend. It'd be too weird. More for me. Are you bi? I'll say this for Caledon. It's, it's got a high ratio of fuckable faculty. <laughs> Dr. Hunter, for instance. Interested? Uh, is this what we're doing? Is this what is this what we're doing? <laughs> we're just playing Smash or Pass at the bar with all. <laughs> I mean, big Smash, absolutely. Smash Moses too. I'd smash all of them, but I'm gonna. I'm respectful. She's a wife. So do a lot of people. Don't let your dreams be dreams. <laughs> Hold up. This is smash or pass? Not have a healthy, long-term relationship and two and a half kids or pass. I'm not asking if you want to marry them. Just... Smash. Just... <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Professor Colmanero. No. He sucks. Does he now? Oh my god. You suck. <laughs> hey, I'm just I'm just trying to think of people we both know. Lucas. Smash no. or pass. Not a chance. Fuck that guy. But not literally. Pass, he's a dick. <laughs> and yet, I've put up with worse for less. <laughs> okay, my turn. Yes, me. Oh, that's just unfair. Why? Is it? Because then I'd have to admit just how hot I find authority figures. <laughs> this guy. This dude. I'm not surprised. I am incredibly unshocked. Yeah? Yeah. Fine. My turn again. He went three times. I only went once. Both? No. Uh -huh. No. My students are off limits. Well, as I am one at Caledon and two not one of your students, which appear to be your two standards. Come on. So? About me, Miss Caulfield. Where do I fall on the binary? Maybe in a different playthrough, brother, but <laughs> I I ain't about that life, bro. I'm not no double dipper. Sorry, bro. Different playthrough, Don't different time. Take timeline. this the wrong way. But No worries. No hard feelings. That's the smasher pass rule. Yeah. Yep. Well, it's been fun. I needed this, so. Thank you. <laughs> oh, she hit him right. with the shoulder pat. Good night, That's man. disrespectful, Max. 
That is so disrespectful. I better cross back over in case Safi is cooled off and is trying to reach me. That is so disrespectful. This Amanda has been taking care of me for days. I should give her a break. But I'm gonna take a Adding this to my sad guy drinks alone series. Let's get the out in the photo. There it is. And I'm gonna post it. I'm gonna sell him out. Sad drunken man at the bar. Alright, gotta bounce. <laughs> Whoop! Nothing from Safi. I don't know what I was hoping for. Maybe I should just head home for the night. Low poly anime. Uh oh. What the hell? Uh oh. Better not to hurt my fucking. We now cat. return to your regularly scheduled fuckery. hurt my kitty cat oh god this is bad Is my cat. Whoever was here really messed this place up. What were they looking for? I have to like scroll to the end. my security deposit. My memory box. No, 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 no. All my Arcadia Bay stuff. What the hell do they want with this? Safi's books. What could anyone want with those? Uh, Safi's so mad at me, she broke into my house. That would be crazy. She better not have hurt my cat. If she hurt my cat, I fully understand why I shot her. <gasps> cat! Yay! Okay. Kitty's fine. Oh no. You're scared. Can I pet the kitty? Hey, you're okay? What happened? Did you see who came in? <laughs> that 
doesn't sound good. Ah! Oh. Come on, jump. I'll catch you. You stay up there then. Gather your thoughts. Oh, my poor kitty. Iris, say tuna fish. Maybe not the best time for a photo op, but you're so cute. I can't resist a cat on a fridge. Hey, say meow. Fair enough. If that dingus a tree or I'll cry. Guess Count Catula has particular tastes, and bananas is not one of them. <gasps> They're still here? Fuck! I think they just went into the dark room. I can't let them go through my investigation stuff. I don't need an article. I see the wreckage every time I close my eyes. God, I wish you were here, Chloe. I could use some of your courage. Man, they really did go through all of my stuff, huh? I wonder. Oh, my snack stash. Bad cat! What if I do this? And then go into the dark room. And I'll catch them without catching them, you know what I mean? There you are, asshole. Show me your face. Wait. That's... me. What in the... Fucking fuck is going on? Is that? I mean, it is me, but like, face looks a little off. I did good enough to pass. But... I wish there was a... I wish there was a face spot right here. The fuck? Wait, but if that's... Wait, no, because we're in the same timeline. I was gonna say, what if that is me? What if we touch each other and explode? <gasps> My toilet paper. being super sneaky, Max. Loud-ass fucking clonking footsteps. How do they not hear that? <laughs> Busted. Turn the fuck around. Slowly. Okay, now it looks much now more like Now explain all of this. You weren't supposed to be home. What? 
Why wouldn't I be home? <gasps> Wait! Fucking tackle her ass. Sprint, Max, sprint! Use them legs! No doorways to the other world on this side of the log. I need to find a way to track her from this timeline. Shit, how do I know which way? What? Now what? Where did you even come from? Are you from the future? Is this what's been going on with you? <laughs> that you've completely lost the plot? I don't understand. Why were you in my house? What are you looking for? What are you looking for? All that stuff in your dark room about Lucas, 
About Vin? About Gwen? Shit you have no reason to know about, or care about! That's not true! I'm trying to help, Safi! Of course you were! God, I'm so sick of people trying to help! Stop. Please. We can't touch each other. I've seen what happens. Please, trust me. Trust you? Go fuck yourself, Max. No! Oh. Huh? What the fuck was that, Supermax? Come on. Supermax? Let's get you warm. I always said you were too soft for academia. Huh? Okay, now... <laughs> now I'm... Hmm... So can... Sof Sophia? Sophia? Can she... Turn into other people? That is so wild. I... <laughs> that... Okay, that was not in my scope of... Predictions. Let's... Let's see, okay, this one's not super surprising. 85% of people tried to save him. I feel like that's fair. Like, I feel like most people were like, yeah, this guy is, like, a dick, but, like, he hasn't really done anything wrong, so he doesn't deserve to die. So I'm not surprised that a lot of people tried to save him. Uh, This one surprises me. Um, I guess... Uh, not really surprises me because I bet there's a lot of people who had the same logic as I had of like, we can see where this story is going and then we can always get the truth maybe out of the other one. That was my line of thinking and I'm, I'm guessing other people had that same kind of line of thinking. 
let's see. 72% of people kissed Amanda. 9% pulled away. 20%, 19%, like, technically, uh, didn't get an opportunity. I wonder if that just means they didn't talk to Amanda. Didn't, yeah, I wonder if that must be what it means. I wonder if they just didn't talk to her. Uh, yeah, fifty percent of fifty-one percent of people passed. Only thirty percent kissed. That must be like the twenty-eight percent that didn't kiss Amanda. Thirty percent didn't or kissed Vin. Okay, so some people are, are fucking double dipping here. <laughs> some people kissed Amanda and kissed Vin. <laughs> That's kind of crazy. Uh, let's see. We got the anime phase correct. We promised we would tell Safi to stay safe. Uh, I did not mix up the Loretta's. I left phone guy's grade alone. Uh, I didn't. I... I didn't do anything because I missed it. Uh, let's see. I did the phone thing again. Oh, I didn't even have the option to say that Gwen was framed for dealing drugs. Huh, I wonder if I missed stuff. Uh, let's see. We told Diamond Maya had mental health issues. We ordered a strong drink. I did reflect at the snapping turtle. I passed on all of my colleagues in Smasher Pass. 2% said Max would smash all of her colleagues. Uh, let's see. Grease trap perished while crowd surfing. Uh, let's see. Found the intruder using only clues. Powers and clues. Huh. Uh, well, damn. I feel like the episodes are getting a little bit shorter. This one was only about just about three hours, and that was with me kind of stumbling over myself, because it took me a while to figure out what to do with that Lucas situation. I was really kind of lost in the sauce for a while on that one. So yeah, so this one was only about three hours long, which is a bit shorter than, than usual, but uh, it is the ep end of the episode, so this is a great spot to kind of wrap things up. So as always, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Always do it on my own, so I gotta get through it And the only thing I know is to love what I'm doing Never give up, never slow, till I finally prove it Never listen to the no's, I just wanna keep moving Keep my head up when I act, head up, that's a fact Never looking back, I'ma keep myself on track Keep my head up, staying strong, always moving on Feel I don't belong, tell my thoughts to move along